Hey guys, I've got some batteries that I'm wanting to uh, test the capacity on. These are 21700 batteries for a flashlight that I've got. And it's a Phoenix flashlight. This is the Phoenix battery that it came with. Uh, it's supposed to be 5000 milliamps. Um, and then I bought two extra batteries, these Epoch batteries, which are also su supposed to be 5000 milliamp. Now, the Phoenix battery charges with a USB type C uh, plug right here and because of that you can see that it's a little bit taller so now the charger I'm going to be using is this X-Star Dragon VP4 Plus and I'm telling you guys if you guys need a good charger this is the best charger I've ever had for these style batteries that this thing will charge anything from uh, I've got a 18350 which is half the size of an 18650 and uh, I charge it, I charge these uh, uh, 21700s I charge 18650s, I, I charge all kinds of stuff on this thing but the nice thing about this is it, it'll test the capacity of the battery so now this charger won't quite handle these uh, it, it won't do a protected 21700 simply because of the circuit board that's here in the tent makes these uh, a little bit longer than your standard eight, uh, 21700 uh, and this one is protected and it's also got this so it it makes this one really long so what I did was I made a little adapter and I just designed this in Fusion 360 and printed it out and what it does is it, it allows me to uh, stick the longer battery up here in the top and then whenever I put this into the uh, charger down here it, the charger thinks that it's just a regular battery so we're gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all three of these batteries on here and I'm gonna put it in the test mode so that it will actually check the capacity and the way this charger does that is, is it goes ahead and tops them off if they're if they're you know a little low it charges them all the way up to 4.2 volts and then it discharges them measures how much current uh, it took to discharge them down to a specific voltage and then it charges them back up to 4.2 volts and then it tells you the uh, uh, the capacity of what each battery was able to do so let's go ahead and stick these batteries in here and to put it in test mode I'm going to time lapse this too so that you guys will be able to uh, actually watch now if, if you don't know how this charger works so right now we're on channel 1 and channel 4 which is this battery and this battery and it's charging it's showing this battery is at about 80 percent uh, the one in channel 1 is about at uh, 95 percent and it's going to continue to charge on you can see the milliamps and then if you hit this button that now it says channel 2 so now we're looking at this battery it's at 99 percent and it's, it's just put in one milliamp of, of current now this channel 1 and channel 4 have the capability of charging at 2 amps but because I've got a battery here in channel 2 it'll only do uh, half an amp and one amp so we're going to charge at one amp just so it'll be quicker uh, and we're going to check the capacity of all three of these now these two batteries are new I have never used these batteries yet this battery is about six months old I've used it every day for the well almost every day every day at work for uh, the past six months so to put this thing in test mode I'm just going to push and hold this button and then it says test right here and hopefully hopefully all that's coming through with the light and everything I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but I'm going to time lapse this I'm going to zoom in we're going to time lapse it uh, so that we can monitor these batteries and see what uh, what kind of capacity these two have compared to the one that came with the flashlight all three of these are supposed to be 5000 milliamp so let me uh, reset the camera up and zoom in and start the time lapse and we'll get after it.
Okay, they fully discharged, recharged, and it looks like the Phoenix took 5,200 milliamps, 5,210 exactly. Uh, this Epoch, 4,986. And this Epoch, 5,067. Uh, it does look like that all these are definitely 5,000 milliamp uh, cells. Anyway, I was just wanting to go through and uh, check the capacities of these, uh, show you how nice of a job this XTAR uh, Dragon VP4 Plus uh, does that. And if you guys need a good charger, might take a look at this one. Anyway, if you need 5,000 milliamp cells, these epochs are uh, up to the job. I did read that uh, Epoch uh, has uh, Panasonic build these batteries. I don't know if that's true. Uh, if anybody knows, please leave a comment. I'd like to know for sure who actually makes these batteries. Obviously, Epoch, I, I doubt, makes their own batteries. They're, they're having someone make them. But anyway... We're done. You guys take care, and we'll see you in the next one.